want liberty. We want liberty. We want justice. We want justice. Black lives matter. It will be utopia if uh, race was not a part of the remarks, the actions in society. But the fact is this, race is a social uh, construct, but racism is very much real and tangible and dangerous. The fact of the matter is that racism exists, discrimination exists, and biases exist. If we do not acknowledge it or measure it, we cannot take action on it. And to ignore race is to ignore uh, the stories and journeys of each and every African Caribbean, Asian, minority ethnic people and communities. And we have to accept and acknowledge the journeys. Biases has consequences. And if we do not recognize that, we cannot measure it and we cannot mitigate against it. And that is why we're going on this journey at the moment. It's very difficult at the moment for some. It's a very uncomfortable conversation for some. It's a very confronting and challenging conversation for some, but it's a necessary conversation. What surprises me that people are surprised. They're surprised at the lived experiences of people of color. And I often wonder why are they surprised? It's because they live in a different world in a different bubble where they are not subjected to everyday lived racism just because of the color of one's skin. So I will say for those who try their best to pretend that they don't see color, they will often then fail to see the injustices that comes with being a person of color. And if we're going to move beyond that, we have to just talk frankly about it. France has a position where they um, have eradicated race from their constitution, but that in itself causes problems. When I've had conversations with the ministers around COVID-19, for example, and how they're measuring the success, they're unable to break it down because they don't measure. They're seeing race riots on their streets that how else do they explain it because they don't measure. The housing situation, they can't measure it, they can't tell you what's actually happening. So in effect, this utopian world, which one day I hope uh, might exist, where people are judged, um, as Martin Luther King said, by the content of their character rather than the cut of their skin, I do not think that will happen um, in my lifetime. And I think in order to progress, we have to confront the injustices that currently exist. We have to talk about it and we have to stand up against it. And it will take a concerted effort to ensure that that happens. And I think that you're either part of the journey for change or you're part of a system that wants to keep the status quo.